May I ask, um, so I live in the neighborhood, sure. um, and I have come to the CVS very often. Mm -hmm. May I ask why you called the police on those two men? Um, CVS policy dictates that if they're shoplifters, mm -hmm. the exit store with merchandise unpaid for, yeah. we should get the police involved. And if the police apprehend them, mm -hmm. we should issue a bond notice. Okay. So I actually did not elect to press charges. I said, hey, look, I just want them to know they can't come in here anymore because they shoplifted, and I just need them to sign that, and I need my merchandise back. And the officers obliged, and the guy said the same thing. Thank you. And they left. It's not your merchandise. It's the store. So you know what happens when the black men or black people, and you decided to call the police on two black people that stole, that allegedly took something from the store because you're willing to uphold the policy and they could have lost their lives. We, we can agree to disagree on this because I don't work for you and I don't answer. I follow my company's policies, not your policies, where I can appreciate concerns. So I, you're willing to risk someone's life for what, $30,000 a year? There, That's There was no risk in my opinion. That, so thank you. You have a great night. Thank what you. is your name? My name is store manager. No, what is his name? No one's gonna tell you my name when you're sitting here videotaping us so that you can try and elicit some sort of violence against me. It's not gonna happen. Elicit violence against That's you? Happen. You just elicited violence against two black men no, by calling they, the police on them. They got to walk away when one of them had a warrant and could have been arrested and the cops still let him go. Just l listen to yourself. You work with black folks. You just remember that.